data security is really important. So when you have like a hard drive or something like this and you want to sell it or give it away if it's used or whatever, there are a few different methods that we can use to securely erase this. In this video, I'm going to cover the method that I would recommend that 99.972% of you use. I'm going to make a, another video for that other minuscule percentile out there. But this is the video that I think that you should be sharing and, and using to erase your hard drives. Now, if you have a hard drive like this or even, you know, like an M.2 or an SSD or whatever, it's not enough just to format the drive and then send it off to somebody else. You need to do a complete format. Now, if you're trying to secure your entire computer, like you have a Windows machine or a Windows laptop that you want to sell or, or give away to somebody else, but you want to remove all of your stuff, there's a different method for that. And that'll be in a video that will be coming in a couple of days. So. Just use the video that's applicable to you. And in this video, let's go ahead and start erasing one of our hard drives. Thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. You can get 25% off Windows and Office with coupon code TS25. So they've got Windows 10 Pro, they've got Home, you've got Windows 11, Office 2021, 2019, and this is the one I use 2016 because it still works very well. Putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. Wonderful. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, and then you'll see everything you've purchased right there. Just view keys and codes, and you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. You know, I never liked how Microsoft has different prices for different people. If you're a home user, you're going to pay 10 times more than an OEM builder or a corporation or something like that. And that's why I like heading to places like whohees.com to get the OEM keys so I can pay a price that makes sense. So thanks to them for sponsoring and now to our regularly scheduled program. So I'm just going to clean one of these hard drives. See this Kingston drive right here? There's not a lot of stuff on here. I haven't used it that much, but I don't want anyone getting access to my stuff. Look at them apples. Yeah, so I need to back this up. Just make sure you back up your hard drive first. So just back up everything on your hard drive. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. You know how to drag and drop things, but we need to stop and look at this ice cream. All right, so we're going to wipe this hard drive and we're going to do it in a way that makes it secure. All right, hit start and type CMD. Then you want to right click on command prompt and run it as administrator. Just click yes when it asks. Now we need to get into our disk partitioning utility. So let me make the font a little bigger so everyone can see it. There we go. I'm going to type disk part. All one word and now we are in the disk partition utility. We can see all the disks by typing list disk. There's all of our disks. Now the disk that I want to wipe is the really large disk. And if you, if you look at this and you're like, oh, which one is it? Well, it's usually pretty easy to tell which one it is. Just press Windows key to bring up your computer there. If this doesn't come up, you may have to click on this PC. And then you'll see your different drives there with the different sizes. So there's the three drives. Now, you may have one drive that's partitioned with multiple different partitions, but you'll need to know the actual drive size so that you can match it up. If you can't figure it out, right click on this PC, click on Manage. Once that comes up, click on Disk Management and then you can get the information about your disks in more detail. You'll see disk zero, Kingston SSD with, it's going to be a two terabyte drive, but you know, it says 1863 gigabytes. That's the one that I want to completely erase so I can take it out and sell it. And then if you look down here, there's your C drive. You cannot erase your primary drive using this method. There's a different method and I'll show you that one in one of the next videos. So I know disk zero is the right one. There it is, just double, triple check so you don't erase the wrong disk. So in order to, to erase this, let's go ahead and select disk zero. You can type select, or if you're a millennial, you can type Sele, S-E-L-E, disk zero. What we need to do is we need to clean this. If you just type clean, it'll do a quick cleaning uh, and allow you to reuse the, the space on the disk, but it won't be secure. You need to type clean all. Ah, clean all will rewrite the entire disk with nothing but zeros. It'll take a little while. So if you're leaving this on overnight, make sure that your audio is muted. <laughs> there we go. My audio is going to be muted because I'm going to leave this on. And if something on the computer pops up like stupid updates or something like that, I don't need any noise. Know that it's going to take quite a while. It could be a very long time depending on the size of your disk. I'm going to leave mine on overnight and clean all. So I'll come back tomorrow and we should be done. If it's you know the middle of the day, it'll maybe only take a few hours. So just keep watching. So it's the next day and you've finished 
but the drive's not showing up in your system anymore. And that's because you cleaned everything. You cleaned the partitions, you cleaned all the space, everything is gone, there's nothing there. So right click on this PC, click on manage. And after we get to manage, you're gonna wanna go and click on disk management. And suddenly it'll discover, hey, there's a drive here, but there's nothing on it. Do you wanna initialize it? You don't need to do MBR, so just go ahead and click on that and hit OK. Now the drive is ready to be formatted. So you can right click on this and click New Simple Volume. And this is just going to format it. You can do NTFS. But if you're using Linux or something like that, I would recommend not doing this. And this is mainly if you're going to give this to somebody who um, maybe doesn't know how to do this. You know, maybe they're going to plug it in and be like, it didn't show up in my system. Where is it? Well, if it's already initialized and it already is formatted, then it will show up in their machine. Don't do this for Linux people. Just do this if you're going to give it to somebody who's using Windows or something like that, or if you plan on reusing it for your own Windows machine. So that's it. Your hard drive's secure. You're, you're all good to go. You can take your hard drive, give it away, sell it, or throw it away without worry. Now, if you want to degauss it, you can do that too. <laughs> if you want to get crazy. But just note that uh, this is going to be good for 99% of the people out there. If you want the ultimate protection, you need to physically destroy the drive, drill holes in it, degauss it, or whatever. I'm not responsible for any injuries incurred, and I don't actually encourage that. I just encourage you to use this method uh, unless you have something super secret and secure on there that you need government level protection on or military grade protection on. But we can do other things to achieve that, and I'll show you in some upcoming videos. Let me know if this is helpful in the comments. Be sure to subscribe, click on the bell so you get all the notifications. I'll be doing more tutorials on this channel, and we do have another channel that I might be posting some gaming stuff to. We'll see, uh, we'll see how I feel, and we'll see if people want to follow that, and that's going to be easy mode. So just youtube.com slash at sign easy mode. So head over there and subscribe there if you want some gaming content. All right, I'll see you on the internets. Security's really... <laughs>